Hi guys, welcome to another Sunday service. Let's pray before we start. Father God, uh, we thank you for the beautiful weather that you've been giving us uh, for the past week. Uh, Father, thank you for reminding us that you are taking care of us every day uh, by giving us uh, the warm sun and the crisp air. Um, Father, as we um, learn a new lesson about you, would you help us to focus and um, yeah, have fun together. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, guys, um, today before we start with our uh, weekly lesson, I wanted to talk about something different. So Halloween is coming up very soon, which is October 31st. However, did you know that on Halloween day, um, Christians actually celebrate a different um, event. And so I wanted to talk about that a little so that we can focus away from Halloween and focus on what uh, uh, this huge event that all Christians all over the world celebrate. And so um, on October 31st, we actually celebrate um, the Reformation Day. And so um, you might have heard of it, but some of you might have not. So let me just uh, talk about a little bit of the history of what happened. So Reformation Day is known because of this person named Martin Luther. And he was a German um, Catholic monk. He was just an ordinary monk. However, at this time, uh, during this time that he was living, the church had a lot of power and he saw that the church leaders were um, abusing and uh, that power and were very corrupt at the time. And so what they were doing was that they were uh, teaching false things about the Bible and they were actually stealing from the people. And so some of the things that they were teaching is that um, if you buy, uh, if you want forgiveness, if you pay this amount of money, you will be forgiven, forgiven by God. Or um, they would say, if you worked this hard, you would be saved. Or if you bought this good, um, then you would be forgiven by God, which is, we know that it's totally false, right? And so... Uh, Luther wanted to defend the Bible and the gospel message. Uh, and so in October 31st of 1517, he actually goes to the door of the castle church in Wittenberg, Germany, and he nails 95 theses that he worked on um, that would talk about um, the, I guess the important beliefs and teachings of the Bible and him defending it. And so this is the day that we remember, remember it as the Reformation Day because it's very eventful because after this, um, there's a lot of changes that happens uh, throughout the church all over the world. And this is when people start um, realizing that they need to learn the Bible on their own and read the Bible as well and not just believe uh, what they hear. And so, yeah, um, here I have a book named Martin Luther, a man, a man Who Changed the World. This is a children's book. If you wanted to learn more about it, you can read um, by getting this book. And so, yeah, because of his brave act, he influenced and changed the church all over the world. Um, I'm sure it must have been scary to stand up for God and stand up for the truth because a lot of the church leaders back then um, didn't like him for what he did. And so he was in danger, but he, he still stood up for what God would have desired, right? And yeah, so one of the biggest teachings that he emphasizes on his writing is that salvation, uh, which is the gospel, um, is not given by anything that we do, but is only by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is only by believing in Jesus that we get saved. It is not anything that we do, but it is only through him and believing in Jesus. 
And so here we have a Bible passage that I want you guys to read with me. And it's in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. And it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. And so this is a, a short, um, I guess, explanation of what Reformation Day is about. And this is what we celebrate on October 31st instead of Halloween. All right. Now let's continue with our lesson. And today's lesson is called A Giant Staircase to Heaven. And it's based on the story in Genesis chapter 11. So, so far we've learned that in the beginning, God created and everything, created everything and everything was perfect. And Adam and Eve had a perfect relationship with God. However, because sin entered the world, that perfect relationship with God got messed up and everything, all of creation also got messed up because of sin. And so because sin was everywhere, we learned last week that God had to send a flood to um, fix the problem of sin. And so he wanted to start from scratch. And in the process, he actually rescues Noah and his family so that his family may flourish and um, yeah, and kind of spread among uh, uh, and yeah, start a family in the world. And in today's story, The Giant Staircase to Heaven, we're going to learn um, what the people do after many years since they, uh, since the Noah and the Ark and the flood story. And so I'm going to read it. If you have your Jesus Storybook Bible, uh, please follow along with me. It says, A Giant Staircase to Heaven, The Tower of Babel from Genesis 11. Noah and his family lived in the land, and his children had children, and those children had more children, and then those children had even more. Well, you get the picture, until there were lots of people on the earth once more. Now, back then, everyone spoke exactly the same language, so you didn't need to learn Swahili or Japanese or anything because you could say hello to anyone and they knew what you meant. One day, everyone was talking and they came up with an idea. Let's build ourselves a beautiful city to live in. It can be our home and we'll be safe forever and ever. Then they had another idea. And let's build a really tall tower to reach up to heaven. And here's a tall tower that they end up building. Yes, they said. We'll say, look at us up here, and everyone look, will look up at us, and we'll look down on them, and then we'll know we are something. We'll be like God. We'll be famous and safe and happy, and everything will be all right. So they got to work. Brick by brick, brick the tower grew higher and higher until it soared above the city, touching the sky. They built stairs in the tower to climb to the top. It was like a giant staircase to heaven. Look, they cheered. We're the ones. See what we can do with our very own hands. They were quite pleased with themselves. But God wasn't pleased with them. God could see what they were doing. They were trying to live without him. But God knew that wouldn't make them happy or safe or anything. If they kept on like this, they would only destroy themselves. And God loved them too much to let that happen. So he stopped their plans. One morning, they went to work as usual, but everything was different. Their words were all new and funny. You see, God had given each person a completely different language. Suddenly, no one understood what anyone was saying. Someone would say, how do you do? And the other person thought they said, how ugly are you? It wasn't funny. You could be saying something nice like, 
such a lovely morning. Then get a punch in the nose because they thought you said, hush up, you're boring. You couldn't even say pardon to check if it hurt right before because no one understood that word either. It wasn't easy to work together after that, as you can only imagine. People were always quarreling and fighting and getting in a dreadful muddle and becoming grumpier and grumpier until at last they were all too cross to keep on building and just had to stop. After that, people scattered all over the world, which is how we ended up with so many different languages to this day. You see, God knew however high they reached, however hard they tried, people could never get back to heaven by themselves. People didn't need a staircase, they needed a rescuer. Because the way back to heaven wasn't a staircase, it was a person. People could never reach up to heaven, so heaven would have to come down to them. And one day it would. So that's the end of the story. I know it was very short, but let's review it together. So again, so after the Noah and the flood, the world was filled with people again. And one day this people uh, came up with a plan to build a tall tower. Um, it was because they thought they didn't need God anymore and so they wanted to make a name for themselves. And they thought they could get to heaven by themselves. So um, God saw this and of course it hurt his heart very much. Um, he had to put a stop to it because he knew that it was a bad idea to do that and he still loved them. And so he, um, yeah, he had to um, kind of interfere and um, yeah, stop the people from building the tall tower. And so in order to stop it, God actually gives them, gives every person a different language so they couldn't understand and communicate with each other. And so because of it, they couldn't work together anymore because, um, yeah, they couldn't understand uh, what they were saying. And so that's how God put a stop to it. And see, we learned that um, the people wanted to build a tower so that they could get to heaven on their own. However, we know that that's impossible, right? Because of sin. The only way that we can get to heaven and the only way that we can be saved from sin is through a person, a rescuer, and his name is Jesus Christ. And that's what uh, we are reminded over and over again that there is no way that someone, us, we can save ourselves, but it is only by believing in Jesus. And so that is our lesson for today. Um, I hope that this has blessed you, um, that and yeah, it and it encourages you to um, yeah get to know Jesus more and read His Word. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Let's pray to close. Uh, Father, thank you, Lord, for today's message. Um, thank you, Lord, for reminding us that even though sometimes we think that we can save ourselves and we can be happy without you, you know what's best for us and you know that um, uh, being away from you, um, we can never truly be happy and we can never get away from sin. And so, Lord, thank you that you are always watching over us and um, really guiding us through so we can um, live a life that pleases you and walks with you. Lord, I pray for all the students and teachers um, that you will keep them safe and that as we continue to study together and learn your word, um, that you would change our hearts and bring tra uh, transformation in our lives. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.